Hey guys, so the time has come to talk about high resolution displays and we all know how 4K resolutions have been storming the market with an estimated horizontal resolution of obviously 4,000 pixels. But what if I told you that 4K is starting to look a little aged and we're now beginning to see displays that can run at an estimated 198,000 by 120,000 resolution. It's pretty awesome, let's check it out. <laughs> Researchers in England have created nanopixels that measure just 300 by 300 nanometers. For those of you that don't know, common smartphones run at an estimated 400 ppi, or pixels per inch. The iPhone 5S that we all know and love has pixel dimensions of about 326 ppi, while phones like the Samsung Galaxy S5 bump it up at around 432 pixels per inch. However, these outdated pixels are 150 times larger than their nanopixel counterparts. Furthermore, the prototype nanopixel displays are low power, thin, and extremely flexible. Ultimately, in regards to long-term prospects, these pixels could be used to power displays with billions of pixels, though it might be rather difficult to find graphics hardware that can power a 198,000 by 120,000 display. These nanopixels are surprisingly similar to the ones found in your laptop or smartphone. They are made up of two transparent thin film electrode layers of ITO, indium thin oxide, with a very thin layer of GST, germanium antimony tellurium. The cool thing is that GST is a PCM, or phase change material, and will change structure whenever applied with voltage. If you give it a zap, it turns it into an amorphous state that is opaque. Give it another jolt and it becomes crystalline and transparent, back to its original shape. And I think you can see where we're going with this. By changing the phase of the GST layer, the nanopixel can be turned on or off. More importantly, because PCMs stick together until another form of current is applied, these nanopixels constantly refresh their pixels and can thus last for days on a single charge. Not only that, they are incredibly flexible because they can be deposited on very thin substrates. At 50 microns across, the nanopixel project sounds pretty awesome. While it's obviously a lot easier said than done, it's clear that smaller and more energy efficient pixels could definitely result in the high res displays that pack a lot of heat and that we all really want. David Wright, co-author of an amazing research paper on this topic, had this to say. Along with many other researchers around the world, we've been looking into the use of these GST materials for memory applications for many years, but no one before thought of combining their electrical and optical functionality to provide entirely new kinds of non-volatile, high-resolution electronic color displays, so our work is a real breakthrough. David Wright really put it no better by describing this entire process as a breakthrough. It's a spectacular type of technology that I'd love to keep you updated on, so stay tuned and even hit the subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.